This is Fudge Films. Coming up next, our feature presentation. Hi, I'm Pete Video Games for Pete Video Games Pizza Emporium off of Route. And let me tell you, we have a deal that is going to make you say, oh, it's a wonderful life. You're going to be experiencing vertigo after you see this deal. Uh, you're going to want to be looking through your rear window for people chasing you down because of the quality of our pizza. Folks, what's that? A phone call. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Jimmy Stewart. At the Philadelphia Street walk sign, you'll be crossing on to 7th Street when the walk sign appears on the crosswalk. Please uh, take your time and uh, look both ways. Uh, 15. Uh, 14. Uh, Now playing at Uncle Stinky's Retirement Shack. I get no respect, no respect at all. Uh, my... <laughs> it's Fudge Films presents a tribute to comedy. Here are your favorite comedians, performed by one very funny man. Alright, how about a little bit of Jerry Seinfeld himself? What's the deal with airplane food? Yeah, they're not an airplane and they're not food. Some of the new. I don't want to have kids. I've got a dog named Petunia and she's a gremlin. And my wife is Jewish. Some of the old classics. I once shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I'll never know. And something a little crazy. Here's maybe a more underground one. Mark Proche. This whole bit, I'm ripping him off. You'll cry, and you'll just cry, that's it. All right, let's do a little Carson. Wow, that's crazy stuff. How about a little bit of the, the Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Jay Leto. I like to drink my cord. <laughs> Any Seinfeld fans in the audience tonight? Kramer? Did Kramer say anything other than the N-word? Ooh, this is evergreen. European! European on my truck! We got, um... Uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Get her, Dad! Uh, he did what in that cup? I've only seen cars. Um... We got, uh, Bill Engvall. Nobody remembers him. And we got Ron White. Oh! That's, that joke's gonna kill with the Ron White fans out there. Relevant comedy for relevant mind. Vagina. Ooh, he's so relatable. Better pay me, I'm your landlord. 
Do you remember this one? That was Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> Even Clayton's getting in on the funnies. I'm depressed. So come on down to Uncle Stinky's retirement shack and you'll laugh so hard your toenails will uh, snap off. Oh? I'm not gonna say the n-word. And now, our feature presentation. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Folks, it's Friday night. Do you know where your entertainment is? Brother, you just found it. It is Encore on a chilly Friday night, and my bedroom's getting colder and colder by the second. My little toesies are about to freeze off. Tonight, um, well, let me say last night, on last night's stream, I, for some reason, made a promise to chat. No one egged me on, no one told me to do it, but I, I made myself do it. I forced myself to do it. I promised chat that I would play Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed on the Game Boy Advance. So that was the plan for tonight, was just Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. And I realized um, you know, at about, uh, 5 o'clock p.m. today, um, I'm only gonna wanna play that for, like, 20 minutes. I don't wanna play that game that long. Uh, that, I'm gonna go on a limb. Listen, I haven't played it yet. Maybe, maybe I'll be surprised. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that game is probably pretty stinky. That game's probably pretty bad. I don't wanna play it for the whole stream. So I got to thinking, I got to thinking, okay, well, what could I do? What's the backup game? And then I went, why not make it a whole stream? Not just playing Scooby-Doo 2. Let's just get a whole bunch of licensed Game Boy games. Game Boy uh, Color and Game Boy Advance, I think, is the two that we're doing tonight. And very few Game Boy Color games. And we might not get to everything, or we might get to everything. And also, this is part one. Because uh, I got a lot more uh, in my back pocket. But <laughs> the point is, tonight we're doing licensed Game Boy games. I don't think we've ever had a barrage of bad games on a stream like this. You know, I've played, I've done a ZX Spectrum roundup. I've done a, a Russian bootleg ZX Spectrum roundup. Uh, those were pretty bad. But I don't think we're, we've seen so many consistently bad games like we're going to see tonight. Will there be some good ones? I can guarantee it, actually. I know for a fact there's at least one good one. But there's going to be a whole hell of a lot of bad ones. So buckle in. Get your, uh, get, what do, what do kids, what do you kids eat these days? I'm, I'm 23. What do you kids eat these days? You guys get, what do you eat, like, smart food popcorn? Get your bag of smart food popcorn and settle in, because, uh, I'm going to die inside over the course of this stream. And maybe I'll die on the outside, too. Fingers crossed, right? Okay. Um, this is gonna take, it's set up, but it's kind of, it's gonna be a little bit weird, chat, 
you're just gonna have to, uh, you know, cut me some slack when we're switching between games. I've got it figured out, but I ha I don't have it seamless. So let's let's start. <laughs> what do I want to start with? Do I want to start with Scooby Doo Two? Let me explain why. I, I, I'm playing Scooby-Doo 2. I, um, I do this thing. I, does anyone else out there do this, um, called uh, Wasting My Life? Um, and so I watched Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, uh, the other day. I don't know why. I just did. And the last scene in that movie, the post, the post credit scene, right? Something that is a cinematic staple nowadays to to tease the sequel. Ooh, add a little epilogue. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed has a post credit scene. Does anyone remember this? There's a post credit scene. And I legitimately think it might be one of the greatest scenes in all of cinema. Um... The post credit scene to Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> Alright, credits credits are done rolling. Scooby. It's a close-up of Scooby. He's playing a Game Boy Advance SP. He looks at the camera. Ooh. He takes his Game Boy Advance SP and puts it up to the screen. And it says, uh, enter this code. On, in Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed on Game Boy Advance. And the code is, I think, SD2. And then and then he he uh he his he does the eyebrows thing. He's like <laughs> And that's the post credit scene of Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. What does SD2 unlock? We're gonna find out, chat. We're gonna find out. Has, it, has this ever been done on the internet before? Folks, this is the first time this has ever been done on the internet before. You're not going to want to miss this. Um, Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed is a... Not good movie, but could be worse. It could be Scooby-Doo 1. Which I know uh, pe people are going to kill me. Um, I want to make that clear. This may be my last stream ever. Because... Um, People will uh, murder over the live-action Scooby-Doo movies. They love these movies, and I don't get it. I'm a bit. I'm a Scoob. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. I'm a Scoob nut. If you know me, you know I am into Scooby-Doo to a level that is probably concerning. And so I don't like these live-action. I don't like the James Gunn live-action Scooby-Doo movies. They stink. <laughs> They're not good. Gavin, thank Hi, you. Hi, Mike. <laughs> thank you for the 35 bits, Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Uh, those movies stink. I liked them a lot when I was a kid. They don't hold up. They stink. And especially if you're a Scooby nut, they stink. But I want to know. I want to know what SD2 does. So let's. This might be really loud for a second, chat. We're going to see what happens here. This button. Okay, there's no there's no sound right now, but one sec. I'm I'm waiting for the game to come up. No, you know what? I can main screen it. I guess I should change my category now. Um I remember seeing this game at Sam's Club. What's the What's the retro category? Can someone actually help me with that? What is the category for retro? Oh, there it is. It's just retro. Okay. Uh, I remember seeing this game at Sam's Club and going... Okay, why would I, why would I buy it? <laughs> and then I didn't buy it. The game is not, the game is not, the game is not. 
Hold on, hold on. The game's the game's just really loud. I don't want to. I don't want scoot. Look at this. Look at these graphics, though. Look at the graphics, chat. Do chat. Do you remember the plot of Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed? Do you need a Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed refresher? Sorry. Yeah, there's the limousine. The mystery ink limousine. I don't think... I... I mm, this doesn't sound very scooby doobish Okay. Alright, audio... Let me know if the game gets... If it gets too loud. Okay, password. Wait, let's go to the options first. Much like with modern games, you gotta check the options first. Text, uh, just turn text off. Ooh, ooh, mystery. What's the mystery chant? I didn't do anything, okay. All right, so the password that Scooby reveals at the... Wait, I thought it was SD2. What? Uh... Hello? Guys, does the game even function? This just restarts the game. Maybe it's in the start game category. It is definitely not. Oh. Well, we'll just play for a bit and we'll figure it out. Coulsonium Criminology Museum. Mystery Inc. leads reporters, including the beautiful television reporter, Heather Jasper Howell, through the museum. They pass glass cases that contain monsters and ghosts, costumes of former foes. Mystery Inc. is proud to donate the costumes of all the criminals we've unmasked in the past. There's the Black Knight Ghost, and the 10,000 Volt Ghost over here, and the Skeleton Man, and even the Pterodactyl Ghost. Oh, she got it. <laughs> There's just something funny to me about live action Velma <laughs> going, Welcome to the tutorial. Just follow. What is her hand? Just follow the instructions, and you'll be ready to play. Start the game by helping Scooby Doo get through level one. Alright, chat. Scooby Doo 2. Oh, God. Ew. To make Scooby. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know how to play a video game. Alright, chat. Moment of truth. How does it control? Um. Okay. Man, they. I guess this is a baby game. What is this? What is this move? Does he have like a butt patch? Uh, Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed is the most, like, 2005 movie Im uh, imaginable. Like, there's, um... Uh, the gang's outfits are super 2005, right? Like, Shaggy's got the undershirt and everything. But there's... The thing that gets me is, like... They have, like... They're, like, rich... Do you guys remember this? They have like a rich mansion that Mystery Inc. like lives at. And then like they have like a logo and the logo is so 2005. This this does not control well chat. This feels like it, it I don't know how to describe it feels like rubber. I, okay, game Yeah. What was that B? Oh, both buttons jump chat. Okay. 
it's just not a good movie, Chad. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. Look at that rat! There's a good chance you'll meet up with a rat or two. Press the B button to strike it. Does he have like a... Does, does Scooby have a ground neutral? Hold on, hold on. What the hell? That's just another jump button. Pass it. What a weird thing. I don't know what the game's talking about that you can just hit B. B for me is mapped to a square button, and he does not have like a ground neutral. Okay. Anyways, let's kill some rats. That was my favorite part of the movie, where Scooby crushed rats under his ass cheeks. Oh boy. Um, I will say the CGI in Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed has aged incredibly poorly. I know that may be a shock to hear, but it do, it has not aged well. Um, especially with Scooby, like, wall running and, like, grinding and handstands, um, it, it looks terrible. Why did they let the cartoon dog do that? Shaggy and Scooby are terrified when they pass the pterodactyl ghost display. Relax, you kooks. They're just costumes. Velma's right. If you look at them up close, they're, like, totally fake. The pterodactyl... Pterodactyl's face doesn't look like a costume at all. It's real. Suddenly, its eyes blink. Okay, chat. That's the password. Remember that. The game continues to give their tour through the museum. Lightning strikes, all the lights go out. Wind, rain, and a strange cloud of white smoke rushing through the open window. Daphne notices that a flapping curtain covers a glass display case. She yanks the curtain aside. It's a curtain. Jesus, that scared me. Hello, streamer. If you could be one character in this Oliver squad, who would you be? Scrappy. I would be Scrappy. <laughs> Easy question. Clayton, thank you for the 10 months. Just the way that he goes, just the way that he plays uh, Tom from Tom and Jerry's Scream makes me laugh. It's curtains for you, bird brain. Quick, Shaggy and Scooby, tie it up with the curtain rope. You see this, like, Mystery Ink logo? Oh my god, Fred. Why does everyone in this game point weird? The only animation in this game is on hands. But you see, like, the Mystery Ink logo back there? They, like, tried to give Mystery Ink a logo in that movie. What is it? Get, ew. Ew, 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 ew. I don't like you. Uh. This game, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna offend a couple people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this game stinks. <laughs> uh, this, this game, uh... We're only on the... Let's, let's, you know, we're, we're rushing through... Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, we're dead. Scooby's dead. Scooby has died. Okay. But you have to be... Oh, okay. So we have to walk, and then when the pterodactyl ghost breaks a window, then we gotta go back, and then run. He's kinda like, he's like the son from Mario 3. When do I get, I wanna play a Shaggy. Matthew Lillard as Shaggy is the best thing about the live action Scooby-Doo movies. He's actually fun to watch, and he makes opping, uh, acting opposite a fake CGI dog uh, convincing. Okay. Hi. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. What is that? What did he just eat? Did Scooby just eat a carrot? What was that? Oh, 
Okay. Can we just... I guess we can't kill the pterodactyl with the ghost, but that'd be badass. If we did. Scoop, please. Guys, I am... Oh my... <laughs> what a combo! Hit scan <laughs> the pterodactyl ghost. Oh, there's the rope, guys. We did it, baby. That's a gamer intuition kicking it. <laughs> Shaggy and Scooby tighten the rope around the curtains that were covering the pterodactyl. 600 ghost. bits. Gavin, thank you for the 25 more bits. You're now the, you continue to lead as my bit daddy with 600 bits. Thank you, Gavin. We're covering the pterodactyl ghost. We did it. You can let go now. Daphne and Fred let go of the curtain and stand back, revealing the pterodactyl ghost. But wait, Shaggy and Scooby hadn't tied the curtains around the pterodactyl at all. They had tied their own wrists to the pterodactyl's legs instead. Oops. Let go. Wait, I'm sorry, this is, um... This is movie Scooby. I'm doing the wrong... I'm doing... I'm doing, a. Uh, uh, what's new Scooby-Doo Scooby? I gotta do movie Scooby. I apologize, chat. Accept my apology, please. The pterodactyl ghost screeches loudly and flaps its wings and flies up into the air, with Shaggy and Scooby still attached to its leg. Uh-oh, guys. This looks like we're into some hijinks now, gang. The gang spots an evil masked figure at the open window. A black hood covers his eyes and he wears a cape. He motions for the pterodactyl ghost. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this. Evil Masked Figure, the main villain of Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Does anyone know what his name is? What the villain's name is? Not who he's, you know, not who he's revealed to be. Because I'm going to let you in on a secret. This character's name is Evil Masked Figure. They never gave him a proper name. In the credits, the main villain of the movie is listed as Evil Masked Figure. Come, my pet. Bring me my prize. The pterodactyl drags Shaggy and Scooby along with him. We've got to save Shaggy and Scooby. As usual. Mikey, play Animaniacs SNES game? Listen, we're, we're sticking with Game Boy games right now. But, if you want some Animaniacs, that is on the plate for tonight. We got an Animaniacs game and a Pinky in the Brain game. Help Daphne ra rest. Oh, I get to play as Daphne, dude. Why does she have a sword? Also, how does she still not have... Hold on. Hold on, gang. Did I, like, not map my... Oh. Sorry, one second. Did I, like, not... Uh oh Hello? I can't get out of full screen. Why can't I leave full screen? Um... What? F11 is supposed to be my full screen button on the uh, Game Boy I'm using. And it's not exiting full screen. So I can't remap the controller. So... No, the full screen toggle is mapped. It's mapped to F11. It's just not doing anything. F11. Do I have to, like, turn on, like, caps lock? Or, like... Where's num lock? Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh, and I can't, like, um... Hold on, chat! Hold on, chat! Chat! 
Chat, 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 chat. This is what we're gonna do, gang. Remember this password, chat. Someone type this in chat right now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, turn off the Game Boy, and then I'm gonna type in the password. Remember this password. Someone type it into chat. No, don't. B D B F B B B. I think that's a C. B D B. Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Don't worry about it, chat. Everything's gonna be alright. I just need to know, because the game is like, yeah, just hit B, and you can do a ground attack. And B is jumping for me. Both A and B are jumping. So it is like, that's a line. Let's map B to this one. L, R, select, start. Now then. We're also going to look Ah, it doesn't matter. I don't care enough. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, F11. Okay. There we go, chat. Now we're back. Now we're back. We just got to type in the password. It's I mapped it to a different button this time. So if it doesn't work, this game is just lying to us. Also, I'm going to try and type in SD2 on the password screen again. Password. According to... Listen, Scooby at the end of the movie holds up SD2. It's not... It, why would they do it this way? How do I move the... Hello? S... I can't, Chad, I can't type it in. Look. S. Okay. Yeah, no shit, it's a mis What is happening? S. Now you move on to the next letter. That just takes us out. What is happening, dude? S. <laughs> Yo, do we have anyone in chat who's an expert of the Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed Game Boy Advance game password menu? <laughs> what is happening? Why can't I type the password in? I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. Can we at least type the level password in? What is it, chat? B? I can't type that in. Why is this? I'm, I'm hitting it, chat. Oh, wait, I shouldn't show you that. I'm hitting the uh, A button on my Game Boy. And when I hit the B button, it does that. So, like, what am I... What am I supposed to do, gang? I sent a pic to Discord with it? Pick of what?
Okay, the password. Thank you. That doesn't change the fact that I can't even type the password in. My Game Boy has Joy-Con drift. Okay, we're just gonna um, unplug the Game Boy and just plug it back in. Hi, welcome back. Oh, uh, now it's not working. I am not going to be bested by Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed tonight. That is not happening. I am smarter than this game, alright? I will not lose... Hold on. Okay, I don't know. Open. <laughs> what is happening, man? <laughs> I'm getting my ass beat by Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> and it's just the password screen. It's not even the game. <laughs> okay, start. Password. S. Am I nuts, chat? <laughs> We're not even an hour in and I'm losing my mind. Okay, Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed GBA Passwords. Not because I want the passwords, but how do I type the gosh dang passwords in, man? Streamer can't even get past the menu. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this guy's doing a password percent speed run. It took him three minutes. <laughs> that was just to get through the password screen. Okay, he goes to the... Where are you going? Oh, he turned off cutscenes. Okay, speedrun's starting. What? Uh, he's just typing them in. He's just typing them in. This, no joke, this might actually be an anti-piracy measure. Hold on, chat, did we just discover that Scooby-Doo 2 has anti-piracy measures? How? On a GBA game? No one is saying anything about this.
Why can't I figure out the menu of Scooby-Doo 2? What is happening? I'm losing it, chat. I'm, I'm about to go uh, fucking nuclear. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something. Chat, there has to be something I'm missing. There, there has to be, no, no, no. There's gotta be something wrong. There's something wrong with my inputs. There's something wrong with my inputs. Because I just watched the post credit scene to Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed again. And Scooby's doing a ground neutral attack, right? Something's, something's not right. Something's wrong. Here, we're going to clear. Just goodbye. Up. Down. Left. Right. A. B. L. R. Select. Start. <laughs> either, either my inputs are broken... Or there was an anti-piracy measure for this game the whole time. And no one knew. My next... If this doesn't work, I'm going to try a keyboard. <laughs> this is not how I thought this would go, man. Okay, start. Pass it. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Chat, what's the password for the level? Chat, someone post the password again, please. How do I... It's actually, the game's actually working now, chat. No, I hit the wrong button. Chat, I hit the wrong button. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why is this happening? I get it. <laughs> I'm screaming. And I'm dying. <laughs> Okay, Scooby Doo 2 Monster Unleashed. Okay, this is it, Chan. We're gonna do it this time. <laughs> you guys remember in, in Scooby Doo 2 Monster Unleashed? When when they when they drink the randomonium potions and Shaggy's got a rock and bond. And then he drinks it again and he gets buff. Wait, I screwed up that joke. The jo See, the joke was I was going to say he drinks it again and he turns into a girl. <laughs> can we... Jack, can we start the stream over? <laughs> can we... <laughs> I don't want to do the stream anymore. This is... <laughs> F. Chat, don't say anything right now. B, 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 C. Okay, you can talk again. Is for the end game? Well. Well. Looks like we're beating the game. We're beating the game, chat. I'm I'm invested now. Do I have to start over? No, okay. One three. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. 
Do you guys remember, did you guys have the DVD of this movie? I legitimately, a stream I would love to do is a DVD games. Or, or like special feature DVD games. Um, like Scooby-Doo 2 had like an entire like campaign, dude. It was like Skyrim. But you like tried to find Shaggy's missing pants. That's not a joke, that's really the plot. And it had like original clips from the movie. Um, Harry Potter, like three, two and three, had like massive Hogwarts that you could explore. Um, I would love to do a stream like that, but that would uh, immediately get me DMCA claim for the music, for the clips from the movies. But I remember the Scooby-Doo 2 one had like, there's a part of it that you need to do to get through the thing. Um, where it's, uh, like the eyeball monster guys, but you have to like hit enter on your remote at the exact correct time to hit them. And you couldn't do it. Like you had, to, I couldn't do it because of the lag, right? Like the, the lag of it, like reading the disc, I could not do it. Can I just kill him? Daphne has a sword, right? Like, death can happen here. This, this game controls like ass. I just, in case you thought like maybe this game was good, which I don't know how you think that after looking at it, um, it's, it's not. This, this controls very poorly. One of them was the plot. So yeah, that's the first one. The first one is the they go they go to Spooky Island, and Mr. Bean is there, and he's like eating their souls, right? Like they're trying to like summon bunny demons uh, to power up Scrappy because he's the villain. It's shit. The second one is um, all the monsters, all of Mystery Inc.'s classic monsters are coming to life. And Mystery Inc. is being, like, framed as, like, frauds. And, uh... That's kind of it. Um, there's, like, an extended dance sequence. There's a point where Matthew Lillard dresses up as a pimp. Shaggy's a pimp. And he's like, Like, what shnizzle my nizzle? And it's like, what are we doing? What is this? And Scooby wears a big afro. Um, and, like, has a dance sequence, and it's like, huh? Um, Velma wears tight leather, and, um, and, uh, hits on Seth Green. Do you, wait, can I play a clip from the Scooby-Doo movie? Wait, can I play a clip from Scooby-Doo 2? Scooby... Hold on, guys. Movie night. Movie night. Get rid of him. Keep him busy. So, so Shaggy and Scooby is um, they, they're like, they think that they're like getting kicked out of the gang, and so they go investigating on their own and like go to Burger King or something. Um, Daphne and Fred have this whole subplot where Fred's like afraid to be scared because it wouldn't be macho. And then Daphne's, Velma. like, just in the movie. Um, but Velma has this romantic subplot. And I think we need to talk about the scene. Well, okay, well, that's one thing. I mean, someone who thinks you're really hot. But I'm more comfortable... Now, Velma is played by Linda Cardinelli. Cardinelli. Who is one of my favorite actresses ever. She, I think she does a great Velma. I really do. Um... We uh, Everybody has flaws we have to talk about a the thing. Object You'll of a see. Relationship is to never let the other person know they're there. The museum. The museum. Yeah. Which okay, so Seth Green's character, the museum curator, who Velma is crushing on. Um, hold on. The museum. The museum. Yeah. You can't hear this, but um, they like clink glasses. And uh, Fred's toast is uh, two museums. That's that's his toast. Like two museums. What would 
would you do if someone thought that Because you were Seth Green's Uncle character has no personality. Mysterious jet. Okay. This sucks. This is what we need to talk about, chat. This is gonna get me DMCA claimed. I gotta mute this. Hold on. Ba 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 ba. Say it. Say the line. Say the line. Say the line. Say the line. Who's your mommy? Why does she say that? We gotta get some bonk emotes going in chat. We gotta get some bonks. All right, chat. Those are those are some bonks for you and brother. Those are some bonks for me. Uh, Linda Cardinelli, whew, and then she does this, and it's like, man, like I'm here to watch Scooby Doo, you know. I'm 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 here to watch Scooby Doo. Uh. Okay, we gotta we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. That's gonna get me DMCA claim, but also it's gonna uh I'm starting to feel things, chat. I don't like feeling things on this stream. Anyway guys, uh I wish those movies I wish they were on Amazon Prime. If they put, they're on HBO Max, if they put Scooby-Doo 1 and 2 on Amazon Prime, we would absolutely do an Amazon Prime watch party of them. Because I, I think they're terrible movies, right? I think they're really bad, and I think they're really bad, really, really bad Scooby-Doo movies. Second one, less so. The second one's uh, actually a decent Scooby-Doo movie, right? But I grew up with those movies. Scooby do the, the first live action movie I watched on VHS so many times, chat. So many times. And I could talk about every little aspect of those movies, break it down for you, and and riff on it, but also explain how we got to the point where Velma, sexy Velma, goes, Who's your mommy? And I wish they were on Amazon Prime so we could do it. Anyway, guys, back to the cool game. Sorry. All right. Cool. Everyone, put your put your hogs away. Stop squeezing. We're done with the horny. The pterodactyl grabs the Black Knight ghost costume and the 10,000 volt, co volt, volt ghost costume. Daphne tries to catch up with it, but it escapes and flies through the open window. Daphne leaps through the air and slashes the rope, freeing Shaggy and Scooby. They fall to the ground and land hard into a pile of costumes. I'm glad we can see all this. Heather Jasper Jow Howl watches on. She turns to the news camera that follows her. Wherever she goes and she says, Heather Jasper Howl. Oh. It was a disaster today. A shaggy and Scooby caused major damage to Coolsville's most impressive tourist attraction. This incident has left us all wondering if the Mystery Ink game are really the heroes we think they are. What, it, like, what a dumb plot. Oh, you guys saved us all these times? Oh, and now you're destroying the thing you donated to the museum? Are these guys crooked or what? No, th what are you talking about? Scooby finds his way out of the pile of costumes. Oh, okay. I was about to do Frank. I was. Eh? Eh, Bubby? Rouge? I was about to go to that. No, wrong. That's 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 Frank Welker Scooby. Wrong. This is this is movie Scooby, right? So it's the most generic Scooby voice, right? It's everyone's Scooby impression, right? Where it's just it's a Rouge? Red Rouge? That's that care. That's that Scooby's voice. And I, ugh, ugh, I don't like it. Then Shaggy appears. Like, what just happened, dude? All right, remember this password, chat. The evil masked figure leaps onto the, per the pterodactyl's back. Evil masked figure. Mr. Ink, this time you'll be the ones who will be unmasked. The world will know what buffoons you truly are. Guys, you don't even need to watch the movie after this. All right, Fred's pointing. Help Daphne fight the pterodactyl ghost. All right, chat, boss fight, boss fight. Who's ready, chat? Oh, this is gonna not be good. Oh, he takes 10 hits. Oh. 
This is gonna be easy. Oh, he got hey, he got me that time chant. Daphne, please. There's like some weird stuff going on here. If I like hit a direction and attack at the same time, Daphne will like lock up. There's like too many inputs going on for, for the game. Are we really gonna play this whole game tonight, chat? Where? Hello? All right, Daphne, eat the big burger. I'm thinking we're gonna play this whole game tonight. <laughs> cool Zonian Criminology Museum. Velma examines the pterodactyl's display case and discovers a secret hatch. Jeepers, a secret hatch. The real pterodactyl ghost came through here. And then he stole two costumes, the Black Knight ghost and the 10,000 volt ghost. But why? Ooh. Yeah, you know, Daphne's always scarfing down Scooby Snacks. All right, now we gotta go to Old Man Wickles Manor. Wickles Manor. Old Man Wickles, Ancestral Manor. Mystery Inc. steps onto the front porch. Fred rings the doorbell. A loud, spooky voice rings out. You're trespassing on Wickles Manor. Get off this property. That's mean. <laughs> That's mean. Who would have a doorbell that says that? Fred rings the doorbell again. Leave now or pay the price, you meddling kids. Man, the doorbell, like, said we're gonna pay a price. Fred rolls his eyes. Shaggy, what could possibly happen to us by pushing a doorbell? Fred pushes the doorbell again. This time the porch opens up beneath them. The whole gang yelps as they fall down a dark chute. They land with a loud thud. Who's pointing this time? Oh, it's Velma. Help Scooby escape from Michael's Manor. Do we get to do... No. We don't get to roll around in balls. Okay. Oh, what's Scooby's... Gr what the hell is this attack? This is Scooby's ground attack. Just running head first into an enemy. Why don't I just do this the whole game? It makes me invincible. What? What? <laughs> oh boy, this is uh... This is a special kind of stink, chat. This is the kind of stink where you know exactly, like... It's a nostalgic stink. I never played this game growing up, but brother, did I play a lot of Game Boy Advance games that were on equal levels of stink. Why do anything else? Uh. Um. What is. I don't. I can't make that jump now. Hello? Did I just soft lock the game? I can't get through. Retro, I rough rocked the rain. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, the rats respawn, so... Okay, boxes are back. But how do I do this, you know? Because Scooby, his attack is just down in the air. Okay, this... Oh, like that. I'm dead. Scooby-Doo has passed away. Due to, um, rat bites. The dog died. <laughs> oh, it stinks. Okay, that one, and this again, and then this one. No, don't get get away from me. Stomp, Scooby. Oh, no, Scooby fell into the pit. Scooby fell into Old Man Winkle's death pit. No, don't, don't. Oh, it stinks, chat. Oh, it's smelly, chat. Oh, it's, it's stinking up a storm. Who likes Scooby-Doo? You found Old Man Winkle's sex dungeon. And then, and then, because it's movie Scooby, he would be like, Renny Ruger Green? And then he would, like, eat a Whopper. And then do, like, six backflips. <laughs> uh oh, it's gonna fall, guys. Okay, now we're back in the pit. Chat, we gotta no, you know what? No more hundred percent. No more hundred percent run. I, I we're done. We're done trying to get all the coins. We're gonna beat the game, but we sure as shit are not getting hundred percent. I can't Okay, I can just jump over that. I bet this would be a good speedrun game. Oh my god. Other than password percent, right? I bet the movement tech is re is really in depth. So you have to you have to have enough speed to jump across a lot of these gaps. But he's he's so slippery. The moment you you run, he, sorry, chat. One second. I gotta fight. Can you take a minute to look at Scooby's back legs during his climbing animation? Ew! Ew! That's not how that would work! <laughs> Realistic Scooby-Doo is, is the worst. I, I hate him. Um, Live-action Scooby-Doo is... Equatable to like, um, Scoob, Scooby Doo. Uh, on my level of like, this ain't Scooby. This is a lie. This is bad. I would say live action Scooby is the worst example though, because live action Scooby shills for Burger King and like skateboards. Alright, Wickles Manor, hallway. Shaggy and Scooby pretend to be courageous detectives. They're going to prove that they're worthy of being part of the game. Shaggy holds up... Okay, so we've just split... Okay. Shaggy holds up a magnifying glass. All right, gang. Let's, like, split up and look for clues. Shaggy and Scooby jog off on their own. Velma, Fred, and Daphne are surprised by Shaggy and Scooby's sudden bravery. Can I play as Shaggy now? 
Daphne spots glowing footprint footprints on the floor. Footprints that glow? What do you think? Somebody stepped in. Maybe Scooby's been eating glow sticks again. Fred, Velma, and Daphne follow the footprints to a dusty old library. What does that mean? Oh, because Scooby would shit out the glow stick. And then someone would step in it. Because he's a dog? That's the joke there. Do you really only play as... She has no sword now. Whoa! Fight Daphne! Yo, when is Daphne getting added to Mortal Kombat? Okay, this game just became cool. Hold on. I might be into this. Th this is the best controlling character so far. Fight Daphne actually controls pretty well. The fact that you can cancel out of combos actually makes her decent to play. Yo, this just got sick. This just turned into... This just turned into a, a new uh, Double Dragon game, dude. Double Daphne. You know who I do like? Like, I love Matthew Lillard and everything. I love Linda. I, I like everyone in these movies. I, I think the, the movies are actually, like, well cast, outside of Scooby's voice. It's just, I think the movies suck. I think the best part of the movies are their cast. Though I will say, I do like my Daphne a little bit more danger prone. Right? Like, I like, I like Daphne, I like, uh, uh, Zombie Island Daphne, right? Where she's, like, competent. She's, she's a part of the team, but she's not, like, busting out kung fu moves, you know? Okay. Daphne, you found Old Man Wickle's bat room. Okay. Does she have a slot? Hold on, look at this. She has a slide chat. Yo. Daphne. Okay. Daphne, actually good character. It's actually kind of fun to play as her. What the hell? I did not expect to actually like a part of this game. But I'm actually enjoying this. But maybe my, the, my like, expectations are just so low. Oh, okay. The jumping's still bad, though. The jumping's still really bad, though. Which is maybe not what you want in your platformer? I don't know. I do like the idea, though, of Daphne just, like, socking a bat in its mouth. Like a classic, like a traditional Scooby-Doo bat. She just, like, decks it. I'll be honest, I was actually really disappointed <laughs> watching Scooby-Doo 2 again. Oh, Daphne's dead. Um, not because I thought it was a good movie, but I thought it was a movie I at least liked, and I don't, and that made me sad. I know I don't like the first one, but I thought maybe I liked Scooby-Doo 2, and I, I do not. But you know what I do like, chat? Is the Animaniacs reboot? Okay, damn. Um, 
I, I, I really, uh, I've only watched three episodes of the new Animaniacs, but I like it quite a lot. As, as a big fan of the original, I feel like it does a decent enough job of, like, understanding why the original is considered so special. And it, I laughed. I, I was surprised that I laughed. <laughs> like, I would say half a dozen times in the three episodes I watched. That doesn't sound great, but keep in mind that when I watch things by myself, it's literally just me just, like... So if something funny happens, usually my reaction of something funny is going on is So to get me to laugh a handful of times, it's pretty good. Bella picks up a book and turns to the first page. Daphne looks over her shoulder. It's an old book used by secret societies in the mid-19th century. Inside the book are the names of all the people who have ever owned it. Look, J. Jacobo. He was the original pterodactyl ghost. Maybe he gave this book to an old man Wickles before he died. Elmer continues to flip through the pages. She finds something else. Here's a list of ingredients to create your own carbon-based organic composite predators. In other words, it's an instruction manual on how to make monsters. 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 Like the pterodactyl ghost at the museum. I hope Shaggy and Scooby are also finding exciting clues. <laughs> Me too, Fred. I hope they don't come back with any boring clues. Scooby enters wearing sunglasses and a wizard's hat. His arms are full of other cool stuff he has found around the manor. He dumps it all onto the floor. Ruse! Oh, Ruse! Dude, these aren't clues. They're just things you want to take home with you. Help Shaggy find- <gasps> Chat! Chat! Shaggy! We got the- uh, Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Guys, 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 guys. I just closed the emulator. Shaggy's power was too much to be contained. God damn it. It's alright. No big setback chat because we live, we don't live in 2005, you know? We live in 2020, and because of that, um, we can just look up the level passwords. Okay, level passwords, what were we? We were like, level 2-4? That sounds probably right. Streamer is cheating. Chat, are you really going to hold me to a higher standard over Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed? Is that really the hill you want to die on? Because we can do it. We can fight. If you want to if you want to die on that hill, let's fight. Because you're going to get banned. That's how I win the fight. You get banned. Password. I didn't look at the password. Password is level what two two four M D G Y F. Why don't they make the password like a phrase or like something? Why isn't the password, like, shaggy? Yeah, I know game's not showing. Game's not showing because I was typing in the password. 
Anyways, back to the grind chat. <laughs> No, we're on 2-3, aren't we? Uh-oh. Wait, we'll find out. Yeah, we are. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you, Chan. This is what I was freaking out about. This is going to be really awkward for a second. And you're just going to... You know what? No, 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 no. I've got a better way of doing this. I lit... I, I'm not a caveman, chat. I need to show you this, okay? <laughs> this is... This is... This is some boomer shit, dude. This is... <laughs> This is what happens when you use OBS. You use Streamlabs OBS. And instead of XSplit, you can't do region captures. So you have to, like, rig your own region capture. Okay, and now we type in the word Shaggy. What just happened? Look at him. This is what I was trying to show you. Look at him. Why are his eyes so red? Okay, well... Other than the obvious joke. What, did you write this movie? His eyes are just bloodshot, except for the green pu pupils. Welcome to like Scooby Doo Doo. I like, hope you enjoy the game. Like, does anyone have a Scooby Snack? Don't make 
me scared, man. You don't want to know, like, what I can do. Like, my body is a hundred percent randomonium. You want to see these, like, shift forms? 